Decay's brown snake looks very much like the red-bellied snake, and it's closely related to the red-bellied snake. Um, the decay's brown snake has a brown body, however, always brown. It often appears to have a light brown stripe going down the center of the back, wider than the stripes, say, on a garter snake. It might also have a checkerboard pattern on the sides, not unlike a garter snake, but it's rare that you would see a brown snake more than 12 or 14 inches long, quite small. I'm used to seeing brown snakes in a combination of microhabitats where you see an upland, rocky wooded hillside uh, facing perhaps south or southwest that gets lots of sun near some lowland uh, wet sort of overgrown field marsh bog edge that sort of thing so that this snake can move into the wetlands and feed and then when it's time to overwinter it can move into the uplands to overwinter uh, it also has a black mark on its uh, head uh, kind of a diagonal mark behind the eye, uh, another one in front of the eye uh, that can be useful in uh, helping to identify this species. Uh, as a youngster, it can be very confusing in that it has what appears to be a white ring around its neck. And by youngster, I'm talking about a snake here that would only be maybe two inches long but they lose that ring as they age. Conservation concerns would be the same as most other snake species. Haying, mowing, road mortality as a result of the warm surfaces of the road, the exposure. Uh, we also, of course, like all species, need to be maintaining habitat connections so that they can move safely between the different types of habitats that they require at different times in their lives.